our second video in differentials, assuming you've already seen the first one. We're moving on to areas, differentials, in dimension two. Recall the calculus conceit. All curves can be approximated by lines. And so then all changes can be approximated by differentials using the line to approximate the change in the curve. So we're going to do that to approximate the change in the area. The curves that make up the area will be approximated by lines. So the area piece will be approximated by a parallelogram piece. So we'll start with a two dimensional object in R3. So it's a surface or an area object. Two parameters. So every parameter is going to be an ordered pair, which gives me a surface, which has area. Our goal is to find a little chunk of area at a point on the surface. So given any point on the surface, there's parameter values that map to it. Here we'll say the point 3, 4. Fix T1 at 3 and let T2 vary. Fix T2 at 4, let T1 vary. This gives me a pair of curves in the surface. Basically a grid lines for my surface now. So this point we're looking at is the parameter value 3, 4. Vary one parameter at a time or hold the other parameter fixed. This will give us a sequence of curves which will form a grid and each little grid square will approximate with a parallelogram. This shaded area is a surface element and we're going to approximate it with the differential. The differential will be made up by tangent line pieces to those grid curves. So we'll focus in just on the point in question, parameter value 3, 4. And we'll disregard the rest of the drawing for now, because it doesn't matter. Get our little grid lines. So I'm going to vary T2 by DT. That gives me another grid line, which gives me a little tangent line piece, just like we did in the last video. Then I'll do the same for T1. Change it by DT. T2 varies, which will give me a little tangent line piece in the T1 direction. So the shaded area is our surface element, and now I've got two little line pieces. Each of these lines are tangent lines, so the parallelogram I'm making lies in the tangent plane. Let's connect all this back to one forms. Each one of these line pieces that I'm making the parallelogram from are one forms, one dimensional differentials. We got those by taking tangent vectors and scaling them back. So I have my tangent vector in the T1 direction, scaled back by DT1. And I've got my tangent vector in the T2 direction, scaled back by DT2. Rewriting them in terms of vectors is handy because we know that that area of the parallelogram spanned by those vectors is the length of their cross product. DT1 and DT2 are constants, and so they'll pull right out of the cross product. This gives us our formula for our area differential. So DS is our area differential. We call it DA when the surface that we're approximating is flat. 